Ich bin Kenyan. Und Sie? Ich bin Kenyan. Und Sie? Ich bin, ich bin Kenyan. Und Sie? Natürlich. Ich bin Kenyan. <lacht> ich bin Kenyan. Und Sie? Ich bin Kenyan. Und Sie? Natürlich. Ich bin Kenyan. Yes, yes. <lacht> Have you described pronouns? Yeah, but you're almost somewhere. somewhere uh, so you're not doing bad. Okay, the subject pronouns are like I, you. Oh. Ah. Close it down. I need to go back to to learn English. I need, I need to be back to an English class. Wow. Yeah. Mesao kizungu guys, wacha tu nionge kisai. And I will have Pepe Zu OJ introduce to us or to you the topic of today in German. In German? In German, yes. Hallo Leute. Heute geht es um ein Thema, das viele von euch oder wahrscheinlich alle von euch kennen. So before you learn any language, you need to know the present simple tense first because you're going to describe or introduce yourself using the present simple tense. Yes. For example, uh, my name is OJ, I come from Kenya. I've been uh, uh, 32 years old. And this term is Wie werde ich fließend Deutschen? Welcome back, our oh dear viewers. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back again. If you are new to us, stay tuned and I will give you a reason to subscribe, like and share. So today's topic is an interesting one. Um, for those of you who learn a foreign language or maybe you don't, that is today's topic. And I will have Big Bazoo OJ introduce to us, or to you, the topic of today in German. In German? German, yes. Oh. Introduce to our dear viewers. German. Topic. Okay. Hallo Leute. Heute geht es um ein Thema, das viele von euch oder wahrscheinlich alle von euch kennen. Und dieses Thema ist, wie werde ich fließend Deutschen oder überhaupt beim Sprachen lernen? Yes, that's a introduction. Yeah, 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 yeah. I am just as confused as you are if you don't speak German. Do you speak German? Do you speak German? <laughs> do you speak German? I don't. What so, what, what did you say? say? I don't know. That's what I want to ask you. What did you say? Okay. So, hallelujah. Get us. Oite get us um ein Thema. That's very for noise. That means uh, it's a topic that most of you know. Okay. So, in this tema. Wie war der ich fließend Deutschen? Okay? Wie war der ich fließend Deutschen? That means uh, how do you become fluent in German? Oder überhaupt beim Sprachen lernen? Or other languages? That's what I meant. I think the only word I, I, I got from the first time he was doing it was fluente. Fluente? Fluente? Fluent? You didn't say fluent. What's fluent in what's fluent in German? <laughs> what's fluent in German? Uh, that is fluent. Ich fließend oh, Deutschen. Yes, yeah. Oops. Just, uh, Deutschen. Yes, yes, yes. What's um how do you say how do you say welcome? Uh willkommen. 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 Yes. Okay. Yes, willkommen. Oh uh, yeah, so yes. Take us take us take us through what one will need to start learning German? Uh, the first thing you need is you need to understand English first. <laughs> yes, very important. Yes. Because most of the language aspects you're going to learn in German are just in English. Yeah. Yeah, so you need to understand English in terms of grammar first. Then you need to know the difference between uh, present tense with these categories. Let me ask you. Uh, <laughs> tell me about the present tense. 
How do you categorize the present tense? What is the present tense? Tell me the categories of the present tense in English. In English. Categories of present tense. Yes. There is a present continuous tense. Yeah, that's one. Present continuous tense, that's one. <laughs> and the present tense. <laughs> And present continuous tense and the, and the actual present tense direct present tense is it called that? Yeah. Ah! Present, present, present continuous tense present direct direct, <laughs> direct, direct present tense you something like that why am I more English? she's saying present continuous she's saying present continuous tense present tense and present direct tense. That was no, 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 no. Uh, eliminate one of that. It's okay. present continuous tense and, and uh, present tense. What do you mean? Present tense has categories. I know those two. I know those two. Present continuous tense and and and, uh, and, present, and present tense. Present tense. You see, that's the first thing. You need to know English first before you learn. <laughs> guys. You need to know English first. Okay, you guys. You decided to you attack guys, me today. You need to know English first before you start learning any language. First, learn English. Learn English. Yes. It's a foreign language. Okay, thank you. I'll ask you the second time. First language in Kiswahili. Thank you. Actually. Anyway, let me help her. Let me help her. Thank you. What are the categories? Uh... Yeah, so four, t four, four categories. Yes. yes. Uh, you were saying something. Yes, I was saying you need to know those four categories yes. before you learn any language. Yes. Yes. So, do the four categories still apply to German language? Yes. Oh, sorry. Uh, oh. Do the four categories also uh, apply to German language? Yes, they do apply to German language, and you need to first know the first category that is the present simple tense. Yes, so today we're going to learn some phrases using the present simple tense. Okay. So the present simple tense is used to for descriptions. You get the point, eh? Yeah. It's like, for example, in English you say, I read, I walk, I come from, I eat. I eat, that is present simple tense. So before you learn any language, you need to know the present simple tense first because you're going to describe or introduce yourself using the present simple tense. Yes. Uh, you need actions like... Uh, I eat, I come from, I live, I work. Yeah, those are the, the actions that you can best describe. So for, for instance, for example, uh, my name is OJ, I come from Kenya. I have been uh, uh, 32 years old. So now, those verbs have to be in the present tense. So let's, let's get things fast. Let me let let's let's let me make her speak German. Can he? Can I? Stay tuned for that. I'm I'm excited. I think I, I want to. I want to. I want to learn German. Yes. Yes. So we're going to do that. Stay tuned. After the break, we will be back where I learn German, right? Yes. 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 After the break. Yes. After the break. Stay tuned. Yes. Yo! <laughs> so now, before we go to verbs, the first thing we need to learn is the subject pronouns. Okay? What are the subject pronouns in English? I describe subject pronouns? Yes. This one, uh, this one I think I with know. Examples. It's with examples. Yes. <laughs> subject pronoun. Yes. Are the words that replace no, 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 that come before a noun. Indeed. For example, the cat. Yes, the pronoun. I mean, the pronoun the. The pronoun a. Example, a cup. The pronoun an. An umbrella. Yes. Okay. Uh, she, right. she has tried. She has tried. Uh, She's, she's doing well, she's a tribe. But, uh, 
those are not oh, the right, subject. Yeah, yeah, pronouns? Yeah, yeah, Have described yeah. pronouns? Yeah, but you're almost somewhere. somewhere um, so you're not doing bad. Okay. The subject pronouns are like I, you. Oh. Ah. Close it down. I need to go back to, to learn English. I need, I need to be back to an English class. Wow. Yeah. So, uh, I in German is ish, say ish. I is ish. Ish. You is Z. Z. Yes. Z. Yes. So, what is I? Ish. You? Z. So, what is I? You? Z. Uh -huh. I am is Ishbin. Ishbin. You are is Zizind. Zizind. Yes. So when you want to ask a question, you do the inverse. Okay? You bring the Zind in front and then in front of Z. So it will be Zind Z instead of Zizind. Okay? In German, you don't do that. Okay? It's like saying you are. Oh yeah. Okay. So it's grammatically you. wrong. Yeah. In English, is in English you say are you? In German, it's you are. So you bring the you in front. You get oh yes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yes. So let's look at that practically. Yes. So if you say ich bin Kenyan, say that. Ich bin Kenyan. Yes, that is. I am Kenyan. Yes. Then zizind Kenyan. Zizind Kenyan. Yes. So if I want to ask you if you are a Kenyan, I'll go like. I will con do the inverse. Yes. I bring the zind in front. Yes. So it'll be like zind z Kenyan. Yes. Zind z Kenyan. Zind z Kenyan. Yes. Yeah, nice. Uh, nice. So let's do a recap. Yes. We'll have a test after this, so we'll ask you questions. Please be attentive. <laughs> so, so I'm going to ask her in English, then she's gonna answer me in German. Ah, uh, nice. Mm -hmm. I am in German. Is what? I. You said I am in. Ke you are okay. Repeat that. Okay. What is I am in German? Oh, Say okay. In German, yeah. Uh, ich bin. Yes, ich bin. What about you are? Sie sind. Sie sind. Good. What about are you? Sind Sie? Sind Sie? Yes. Yes, clap for her. Nice. <laughs> okay, now let's add something there. I am Kenyan. Ich bin Kenyan. Say that. Ich bin Kenyan. Yes. Sie sind Kenyan. Say that. Sie sind Kenyan. No, it's supposed to be Sie. Oh, oh no, that's a question. Oh, yes. When you say you are Kenyan, you say Sie sind Kenyan. Yes. Nice. Sie sind Kenyan. Do I hope you get the difference? So, if you want to put it across as a, as a statement, yes. you say Sie sind Kenyan. That is, you are Kenyan. Yes. Yes, say that. Yes. Sie sind Kenyan. Yes, you are Kenyan. What if I want to ask you whether you are Kenyan? You say Zizi Kenyan? Yes. Good. Okay, so let's have a conversation. Okay. Ich bin Kenyan. In German, and is und. U N D. Okay, so you add Z after that. It will gonna be und Z and you? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. Und yeah. Sie. Und Sie. Yes. Alright. Ich bin Kenyan. Und Sie. Ich bin Kenyan. Ask me also. Oh, okay. Yes. Ich bin Kenyan. Und Sie. Ich bin Kenyan. Ah. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. So you be the one to ask me first. Okay. Ich bin Kenyan. Und Sie. Ich bin Kenyan. Und Sie? Ich bin, ich bin Kenyan. Und Sie? Natürlich. Ich bin Kenyan. Ich bin Kenyan. Und Sie? Ich 
been Kenyan, you see? Actually, it's been Kenyan. Yes, yes. <laughs>